Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I will be demonstrating for you how to create a poll on your Wix website. Okay, so how to create a um, form of sorts that allows people to cast votes on things, rate things, or whatever you need a poll for. Okay, give uh, opinions, record people's opinions on things. So by default, um, as I just found out via a couple of searches, there is currently still no... Um, poll mechanism built into Wix by default. So it's not something that the website editor has a, has a function at the moment. It, they do say, um, as of the date today, I just checked that they're working on it and they're going to update that. Um, however, like most things in life, there is a workaround. So um, there are a number of workarounds, actually. I'll show you one today that I think is quite good. Um, but most of those workarounds are accessible via the App Store. Okay, so um, on your left-hand side toolbar, if you hit the Add Apps button, these four little squares. And then on the App Market, if you search for the word Poll, um, you'll get a couple of options there. Okay, so you can see that, you know, feel free to experiment with these. If the one I show you doesn't suit your needs or doesn't seem right for you, um, but this is the one that I've kind of landed on after doing some testing, which you can see I've already got installed. So if you just left click that and then add again, you should say uh, on yours, it should say add to site. That's the only difference, okay? What that will then do is populate this with a poll for us, okay? So it's um, from a company called POWR Power. And what it does with a free account, it allows us to add up to six questions, okay? So I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I'm going to stick it over here, just out the way a little bit. And then to get at that poll then, you can see my window's uh, a bit full of stuff at the moment. So if I make a bit of space actually before we get started. So I'll drag that across. Like so. So. Once you've got that poll selected, what you need to do is hit the settings button here again. So you won't see that if you haven't got it selected, give it a little single left click and hit settings. And that will allow us then to customize that poll to suit our needs, okay? So there's only one primary window where you do this. It looks a little bit complicated at first glance, but it is very easy, okay? So you can access the settings for title and description um, buttons and the header images. They're just a single left click away and they look very similar. Very standard, okay? So you can give it a title, decide where the text is aligned. Um, so I'll give it, you know, just to give you an example like that. And then uh, you can, you know, put the text center, left, right, change the color, change the font size, give it a description as well. And once you're happy with that, hit done then to apply any changes that you've made, or you can hit back to undo them. So if once you've hit done, you're back here. And as you can see, we've got one out of six elements used on the free plan. So an element is essentially a question, okay? So um, once you're kind of happy with how your poll looks, you can then start editing the questions, okay? So um, give page one a single click, and then that multiple choice question. And then here is where you can kind of stylize that question to suit your needs, okay? So um, what's your favorite color is what I think, what I'll put in today. And then that will appear there as a question. Obviously, if the form's behind this little window, move it out the way so you can see the form change. Um, and then obviously we'll change choice one to red, choice two to blue, and then the final one, then choice three to green. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, obviously you can delete things, you know, there's a couple of different settings and then hit done. That's the kind of default question then, okay? If you want to go back and edit it, give it a single click and you can then add more choices with this button at the bottom here. And you can also then um, access some of the basic settings for it, okay? So you can make it, you know, mandatory to, to pick. You have to sort of pick one of those before you submit it, which should be a good idea. Um, as well as, you know, do you want to kind of make the answers public as well? That gives you the set in there. Once you're happy with that, hit done. And then obviously then you may want to poll people using some different stuff as opposed to just text and multiple choice like that. And you can explore what they've got on offer if you hit add element down here. So that will then give you an overview of all the different elements that this um, little app uses. So you can allow users to enter URL, address from a drop down, a phone number, date and time. There's all kinds of different fields there for data collection. And then ratings and selections, we've got check boxes, a star based system, choices of pictures, um, different emojis, text based fields along with an image, and then um, 
different layouts as well. Okay, so whatever you need to poll people on, you should be able to find a way to do it in that little list there. Okay, and you can add, like I said, up to six separate steps to this poll or separate questions um, with a free plan without upgrading. Okay, so um, to then view the responses, once people have started um, entering information and opinions in there, you can single click that little button there. And that will take you then to um, the dashboard where you can view the responses collated for you on that form there. Okay, so obviously we've just created it um, and there's nothing there. So it's saying there's zero responses. And if you've got multiple polls on your website, you can access them there from the drop down. And then obviously when we've got more responses, um, you can see the results here then. Okay, down in this little table here, um, it looks like it's only going to give a hundred responses for the free version of the app as well okay and if we give it a quick preview just to look see what that looks like for an end user when they navigate to the site you can see it's very clean and very efficient okay so that concludes our video tutorial if you want to get traffic and sales to your website for free then be sure to click the link in the description below I've dropped a link where you can get unlimited free Google Ads to drive traffic and sales to your website. It's 100% free and very easy to do. It's also completely legal for those of you who might be wondering. So if you need free traffic and sales to your website, claim your free ads down below. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, give us a subscribe and like the video. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, leave them as a comment below as well. Thank you very much.